Welcome back to COA, I'm your man Insomniac and today we are looking at the cheapest space heater on Amazon. For those of you who missed the first episode of COA, make sure that you check out that only other episode on the channel currently. That is on the cheapest Bluetooth speaker on Amazon. We had a lot of fun with that. Got a lot of great feedback so far, so thank you very much. I already have a lot of awesome cheap products lined up to review on this channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, all that fun stuff. Um, let's start. So this is called the Cholis or Chalice, something like that. That's the brand name there. You can see how nice and damaged the box is. That's fun. Looks like somebody punched a dent in the side of it. <laughs> Electric mini heater. Now what I can tell you ahead of time is this is smaller than I thought it was going to be. I wasn't expecting some giant massive heater for, what did I pay for this? Somewhere between 14 and 16 bucks. I will pop the price up here on screen. I'm sure you saw it in the beginning when I was ordering it. I can't remember. Anyway, for under 20 bucks, I wasn't expecting some massive sized space heater, but uh, the box is tiny, so the heater is tiny. On the back, it says bedroom, office, living room, and study. That's where it shows you you can use this. Basically, it just means indoor heater. My favorite thing on the entire box, though, has to be on the back. Fast heating and temperature protection, whatever. But then it says lightweight and portable and has a picture of a pocketbook. If I were literally anywhere and somebody pulled a little space heater out of their pocketbook and was looking for an outlet, I would absolutely die. It would be one of the greatest things I've ever seen. All that is is this company turning lemons into lemonade. It just is a nice way of saying, yeah, it's friggin' small. Anyway, let's get this thing out of here. All right, so here we have our little portable heater. The only other thing in the box is instructions, which should be as simple as plug it in and turn it on. All right, we don't need those. Okay, well, fun fact, it was packed in the box upside down. This, this is literally how it just came out. So, you know, that's cool. Okay, now we're right side up. And like I said, it's friggin' tiny. It's tiny, it's plastic, it's cheap. It feels horribly not well made, and none of that is surprising. It is the cheapest space heater on Amazon. And the plug is so damn short that I'm glad I have an extension cord sitting next to me because that wouldn't reach a wall if you were at a desk. So spec-wise, there's really nothing to talk about. It plugs in, there is no high or low. There's just an on-off switch. That's all you have back there. And it's 500 watts according to the website. So let's plug this in. Sounds like a little hair dryer. So obviously this is fan driven. You saw that on the close up, I'm sure. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of heat already. Okay, a little bit of heat. Yeah, actually it's pushing out a decent amount of heat. That's surprising. Wow, it smells like burnt plastic. No, seriously, it smells kind of like a fire hazard. Okay, well I'm guessing that's something that will wear off, but it literally blows burnt plastic smell at you. But what I can tell you what is super surprising is that this is actually throwing a good amount of heat. I didn't expect that at all. Wow. Yeah, if you were to use this indoors, like actually put it on your desk or next to you on something, because again, it's kind of tiny. You'd have to, I guess, put it on the desk or find something to prop it on. But that actually throws heat. And you could definitely hear it, but I'll be quiet for a second so you can listen. It's really not very loud. So it's not like you have to yell over it or anything like that. Yeah, it really, it puts out a bit of heat. Okay, so assuming that it lasts for more than a week, that's already a plus. Okay, so it is recommended for indoor use. Obviously, it's a little heater. Uh, you're not gonna put this out on your front porch and try to stay warm with it. But being that it does a better job than I thought of throwing some heat inside, 
I'm gonna go out to what I call my office. I literally work out there in the garage. I'll show you what the temperature is. I will plug this in on the desk out there and we'll see if it actually makes a dent in a room that's cold. Okay, so we're out here in the garage office. We're showing a nice chilly but reasonable 49 degrees. We put this on the little side table over here next to the desk. All right. Okay, so you can see it running here. It's about two feet away. And as I showed you, it's about 49 degrees in here. So not unreasonably cold. Although this is an indoor heater and technically the garage is not indoors, but I was curious. I barely feel it. And by barely feel it, I mean that if I were to actually try to use that on the desk out here, I would spend every three minutes doing this, trying to warm my hands up by it. So no, it doesn't work out here. All right, so what it comes down to is if you use it inside, it actually works pretty well for the price. But really all we wanna know is, can you cook with it? We have a package of hot dogs. We have a bag of marshmallows. Being that it only works in a room that's already warm and it smells like burning plastic, I'm kind of on the fence about it. But if I can cook one of these with it, I will absolutely recommend it. So the challenge, throw this thing on blast. I'll give it five minutes with a hot dog first, five minutes with a marshmallow second. And if we can eat either one of these and it's got some toast to it, then I'll be able to say confidently that this is worth whatever the hell I paid for it. All right, well, we gave it five minutes. Let's see what we got. Okay. Hmm. Part of the hot dog is actually pretty hot. But, uh, no, I don't think I would try eating that yet. But then, you know, while this was cooking, I remembered something. You're supposed to grill hot dogs. So I think it's only fair if we give this another five minutes, but we do it the right way. Okay, well, we got about a minute into that, and uh, this happened. Yeah, I guess we can't use it like a grill. Oh, come on, we gotta cook the marshmallow. And now it's actually smoking. I'm pretty sure it set itself on fire. Let's see if we can turn it on one more time. No? No, now it's doing absolutely nothing. Literally nothing. But it is smoking. I was gonna say that you can't blame the product completely for breaking before the end of this review is even over, but then I thought about it. This should have some kind of a safety built in so I can't run it while it's laying on its back the way it was. It ran for about a minute or so with this uh, failed hot dog on it and it did not shut off. In fact, it just instead started to seize and then partially set itself on fire. So it's the cheapest space heater on Amazon, but based on what I'm seeing here, I don't think it's gonna last too long. So this right here, I wouldn't recommend it. If you have one of these and you've had a lot better luck than me because maybe you didn't try to lay it on its back and grill a hot dog on it, definitely leave a comment down below. Let everybody else know either just, A, this guy's a moron. That could be partially true anyway. But either just, I've been using mine for four years and haven't had a problem because I haven't tried to cook hot dogs on it. Or B, I had one and it also blew up in about a week. So don't waste your time. Also, feel free to leave down below your recommendations for cheap space heaters for anybody who might be looking for some. And definitely feel free to leave comments down below suggesting cheap Amazon products for me to review. This was Cheapest on Amazon. I have a lot more coming. I'll see you all next time.